over there, Joe Lunchbox. And his cold wife, Joy Nightingale. On today's adventure, we're still here in Pennsylvania and we have landed in Centralia. So we're gonna talk a little history of it, see some cool, interesting sights. So uh, step right up, let's go for this ride. Ooh. So Centralia, because many of you probably have heard about it, read about it, seen it on TV even, uh, is a town that now is abandoned. Years ago, it was a coal mine. First coal mines actually opened here in 1856 and town prospered, grew, but it was actually May 27th in 1962 that some firefighters, there was a dump town and there was a pit. They decided a good way to get rid of the trash in the pit is to burn it. They didn't realize that there was an open channel to one of the caves and the fire spread into the coal mines and started this now, which made an abandoned town. Uh, interesting weird thing though, that started on May 27, 1962. They didn't even realize how bad it was until in 1979, the mayor then, he also owned the gas station and he was measuring the tanks and the gasoline and when he went down to measure it, he realized the whatever tool he stuck down came back really hot. So they took the temperature in the gas tanks and they were like 170 something degrees and they realized, hey, why is it getting hot under the ground? But still, the town didn't do anything really or until 1981 when there was a 12 year old little boy named Todd that a sinkhole opened up and he fell four feet under. Thank God he was saved by his cousin and that's when they realized there was an issue. The last census in 2012 or 13, seven people still remain in the town, even though it is pretty much fully deserted. Uh, they even, the video game Silent Hill was based off this town, but we're gonna go look around. What's really left now, because you can't really see the mines or anything is, <laughs> this long stretch of Highway 61 <clears throat> became abandoned. They rerouted it because of that. So there's some sinkholes, and as you can see, a lot of people graffitied it. Um, we're going to show you some of the graffiti, some not, some isn't that family friendly. Mm -hmm. We were looking at stuff about gangs <laughs> and, and foul profanities all over. But <laughs> Those horrible words. It is cool that people come and leave their little mark now. And Let's see it. We were here actually in the summer and we were told you should come back when it's cold because you actually, because the fires are actually still burning, even though it's over 50 years later from when they started, they're still burning under the ground. And you can't see the fires, but they said in the winter, you can see mist coming off the ground. So we came here on a cold winter day with wet ground. So we're hoping to see the mist, some cool mist. And it's, we do have not like the fog. So it is pretty eerie, like the video game Silent Hill. <clears throat> Hopefully no one tries to kill us like the video game Silent Hill, but let's check it out. <laughs> So we do have the graffiti on the road, but people went and wanted to take it to a next level. And we even painted this poor little tree. Didn't have a chance. <laughs> Aw, they did a memorial for their fish. <laughs> poor fish. fish. There it is. The... Get some Bob Marley quotes. Don't worry, be happy. Every little thing's gonna be all right now. So Joy, are you happy to be here in the cold in the middle of Centralia? Um, no, because I haven't seen any mist yet. We haven't seen any mist. <laughs> lots of fog, lots of spray oh paint and graffiti. Scary fog. Totally scary fog. It is, it's pretty cool. Meow, meow. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I saw a cat. Just spray paint. Do warn people that don't follow the warnings that actually still come here. Be careful because the sinkholes, since the fire are still burning, do open up still. So we don't want to fall in one of those. And uh, so we're, we're gonna be, take it easy. I do like this, this cool little face that someone painted here on the road. <laughs> Stop in the name of love. She didn't listen, she's still walking, still walking. Cool piece here. That's actually pretty cool. 
I see you, because we know how much I love eyeball. This poor person is going to be so disappointed. It says, send nudes. But in 2002, the federal government even got rid of the postcode for the town of Centralia. So if someone tries to send nudes to Centralia, they'll never get here. This poor person is never going to receive their nudes. We've been walking for a while and still no mist. We are. We're almost up to our first sinkhole. <laughs> Aliens. Joy, I know we didn't bring any spray paint to write our names, right? But... <gasps> My mom! <laughs> Joy's mom. I could pretend. She's pretending. <laughs> but if I was to have brought spray paint, I think since the ground's <laughs> running underneath, I would have made like some T-bone steak spray paint. Because... <gasps> Oh, some sunny set up eggs would have been really funny to spray paint here. <laughs> so we might not have any mist, but we have come across our first sinkhole of the day. So folks, if you come to Centralia and you are a fan of the Silent Hill video game, don't expect to find something like that. You're going to get this graffiti highway with big holes. Definitely might not be what you expected. I'm a fan. I think it's still really cool. And if you're in the middle of Pennsylvania, gotta catch them all. <laughs> if you're in Pennsylvania, it is something I would just recommend coming to check out. Since we've been here in the summer, it is uh, a lot more. There was a cool, someone did a cool broken heart with this crack over here. You can see some remnants of it. But uh, the holes spread even more and more since last time we were here. My favorite thing is a lot of people write profanities and like I was saying, but when the people that write these profanities don't have the best education and finding spelling errors. I come with like a big red like crayon or whatever. <laughs> like it's like a So Joy, is that your plan? Editing. Editing, we're gonna come like we're a school teacher with a big <laughs> red can of spray paint One and circle, grade. give give F's. <laughs> So all these things and cross out and needs improvement. Needs improvement, yes. <laughs> when you think graffiti, you think of Gucci. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I found a guitar. Is it is it is it weeping? No, it's dead. While my guitar <laughs> gently weeps. No. no? No. Two aliens. We have three. Orange alien, green alien, wash away pink alien, purple alien. Oh, purple. This one's anorexic. <laughs> Doesn't he didn't get them the first time. He feared if he write it again, maybe this time he gets new. There are no post office. You're not getting any mail. Learn. Where's the piece of pizza? Oh no, watermelon. Sorry, my bad. Where's the watermelon? Right there. I was excited to eat a piece of pizza, but he, it is a happy watermelon. For all you people that want to come here and all you want to do is spray paint, Someone invited you here. Let's vandalize some stuff. Sugar, honey, iced tea? Yes. Joy, what does it say? Let's vandalize some sugar, honey, iced tea. Ah, sugar, honey, iced tea, yes. Another poor painted tree here in Centralia. Whipped cream. Huh? Whipped cream. But it's all colored. Okay, cream. if it's Joy says it's whipped cream, I'm saying shaving cream. This shaving cream works also. Okay, she's agreeing with me. I was correct. Either way. And now I'm smiling. <laughs> Some tough ladies. They're the blonde squad. Dun dun dun. Forever young. 
Yes, forever young. I don't know about that after uh, after our walk walking up this hill. <laughs> Into the great open. And if you come to Centralia, you park right along this little cemetery. It's nice to see that even though the town's abandoned, people still come out, put flags on the graves, still show their loved ones respect. So like I was saying, since it has been, a lot of the buildings have been demolished since this government took over and eminent mean, domain and some have collapsed because of the mines. So we're gonna do a little walk, see if there's anything left of the town. And then we're gonna do a little quick drive down this main strip of what was the town. Show you probably the two or three houses that are still there. And uh, then that's basically all there is to see here in Centralia. A hill. We should go to the top and see if there's anything left to see. Probably we're just gonna find some people on quads and ATV type vehicles. Cause brown, brown. if you notice all the hills that have been made for them over the years since it's been abandoned. It's cool, but it's basically just a bunch of emptiness. It's hard to imagine that there used to be tons of towns and this was a whole community. Road. Yeah, like this was a road pulled up. Picturing like when these were driveways and people's houses. So we climbed to this top of this hill to show you all what once was the town of Centralia. You really see there really is nothing left. So sad. So that's Centralia, folks. It's sad to see a town in America disappear like that, but... And no mist. Sad. No mist. Joy is sad. We have not seen any mist. We came here on this cold winter day. Yeah. I like the cold. Yeah. Drove hours and hours. Now we have <laughs> hours and hours and hours of drives back home. And no mist. No mist, yes. We got that, Joy. There was no mist here today in Centralia. Fog, no Fog, mist. Fog, yeah. <laughs> so, folks... Centralia, been there, done that. Remember, safe travels, good eats, and live life. So we're driving the roads of Centralia, which is just the main street we're gonna drive. So you can see there's two houses left, some abandoned side streets, and that's about it. After this car pit, ah, we'll just go. <laughs> Pretty much nothing. Left of the Centralia. That house all the way down there. And that house over there has a cool look. Uh, yeah. 